Hi everyone, today I'm meeting with Naval Group to discuss the integration of UAVs from submarines. I am meeting with Paul Bougon, uh, he's in charge of uh, the integration of UAVs on board Naval Group vessels at Naval Group. Uh, Naval Group, uh, Diodon, the French Procurement Agency and the French uh, Defense Innovation Agency recently conducted an experimentation to deploy a UAV from a submarine, so let's find out more. Uh, the trial took place uh, in early May um, from a French uh, submarine from the, the class uh, Ruby uh, that was at sea off the coast uh, of Toulon. Uh, during the trial, uh, we used a HP-30 dr uh, drone uh, from our partner Diodon that was embedded into a canister that we had uh, developed at Nav Naval Group. And the purpose of this canister was to protect the, the drone during the submerged part of the operation. So both the drone and the canister uh, were located uh, inside the submarine uh, in a SAS. And the submarine was cruising at the periscopic immersion. Uh, the submarine released uh, the canister. And so the, the canister um, traveled through the water up to the surface. Uh, once the canister was in the, at the surface, it opened, uh, the drone inside inflated itself and then took off. Uh, and from the takeoff, uh, there was a radio connection between the submarine and the drone that allowed the, the crew inside the submarine uh, to get the video feedback from the drone and to pilot the drone. Paul, does this uh, experiment answer the specific operational requirement from the French Navy? Yes, this experiment was uh, conducting with the DGA, which is the French Defense Procurement Agency, uh, and also in link with the, the Navy in order to take into account uh, their requirements and their needs. And how can it make the life of uh, the sailors inside the submarine uh, more easy? Yes, sure. Uh, for the, the sailor inside the submarine, uh, this capacity is a real breakthrough as it uh, offers to the crew a bird's eye from its environment uh, which is uh, totally new from a, a submarine. Um, this uh, allowed to conduct uh, some, uh, some missions with the submarine that were not possible uh, up to this uh, capacity such as some uh, intelligence surveillance and reconnaissance missions. Uh, last but not least, uh, Paul, what's next for the project? Uh, next is to uh, uh, keep going with the already works on this uh, subject um, with the obje objective to go from an experimental capacity, which is the one we've demonstrated, to a fully operational one. Uh, for instance, um, we could improve the, uh, the data link between the submarine and the UAV, or we could improve the acoustic discretion of the, the launching phase. Very well, Paul. Thank you very much. Thank you, Xavier.